Hi, I'm Patrick J. Adams from Suits, and this is Backstage.com. So were you surprised when you got the nomination for the Screen Actors Guild Award? Not at all, no. No, it was totally, I saw it coming a mile away. <laughs> I, I, was, I was floored. I would, last year was so overwhelming a year for me, getting a pilot, getting that pilot get picked up to season, getting to do um, all of this work that I'd always imagined myself doing, but never knowing how it was going to happen. And it all happened in one year. So it never occurred to me that anything more could ever happen. Um, it, uh, Suits is one of a number of new shows in the last few years that USA has had a lot of success with. Yeah. Uh, as an actor, do you feel like there are better roles out there for actors on cable than there are on network primetime? And, and I'm, I'm not a businessman, so I don't know how it all breaks down, but any time I did work um, on the other side of it in, in, in network television, um, there was a real need to have, the, obviously the numbers are a lot higher, the stakes are a lot higher, and so uh, there's more money at stake, and I always felt that on set. I always felt like, and, and I was fired from a, a network gig, you know, not long before Suits started, and so, you know, I, I could feel that that sort of desperation, that 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 need to, to for, for for money to, to 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 drive things and for people to satisfy a lot of numbers, which is really hard. And so I felt that was driving the ship in a lot of those situations. And then I went over to USA and I got into a situation where there was trust, there was encouragement, there was a, uh, an enjoyment of us trying new things and doing and trying things outside the box and pushing it. And uh, and the more we pushed and the more we tried new things, the more they encouraged us. And so we ended up with a show that they're really proud of and they support and a show that we're really happy to go to work on because we don't feel like we're just um, you know day laborers and somebody else's idea, but we feel like we're all creatively um, involved and invested in, in what we're doing on the show. When you got booted from that network project, mm -hmm. um, were you, what was the attitude? Was it, well, I'll just go out and I'll get some awesome show on at USA, or do, do you still feel disappointment in those situations? Oh, uh, no, I was crushed. I was crushed in that. I think a lot of actors have spoken more eloquently than I'm capable of speaking to it, but I think there's a need for approval. There's a need for love. There's a need for people to, um, to respond to you and tell you you're good, you know. When that is met with with something as clear cut as a firing, as clear cut as a non as, as, as non approving a thing that can happen, uh, it's crushing. And I th and I think anyone would find that crushing to attack. But for me, it was a uh, two to three months of feeling pretty pretty lousy about myself, pretty lousy about my work, feeling like this is not something that I'm meant to be doing. Um, and then I just sort of realized, wow, I survived. I lived that, you know. I, if I can live through that, if I can live through somebody telling me I'm not good enough and taking away, taking a job away from me, then what else am I capable of? And that's when this part kind of came along, and it was perfectly tailored to, to what I was going through because it was a kid who was really bottom of the barrel and felt like he had, you know, used up all of his chances to be, to be great. You uh, even as you started working, you know, getting great work in television, you've been going back and doing theater here in LA mm -hmm. regularly. Um, how important is it to get back on stage in between TV projects? After that first season of Suits, it was really important. I feel we get tested everywhere. Television is not easy, and film is not really not easy. But theater is where you have to take something from the beginning to its to its end. And, and you know, you have to take a scene all the way from the beginning to the end. You have to take a full story all the way to the beginning to the end. And I think. Um, that is the ultimate challenge for the actor, and I think to step in onto a TV set, uh, you have to have an understanding of the beginning, middle, and end before you can really hop into any given moment. And uh, and there's nowhere that teaches me that better, and nowhere that humbles a person better than than, than being on stage. And it's about following the, the material and, and what's appropriate, and the people that you want to work with, and so far so good. That's really served me well. Um, you did some work also on Luck. Mm -hmm. um, did you learn anything from being on set with Dustin Hoffman? I could write a book about what I learned in my few weeks with Dustin Hoffman on set, but mostly I learned about um, fearlessness. I learned being willing to bring to the table your work and not be ashamed of it, and to uh, and to be willing to play. And he he wants to play. He is a he is this giant kid who is so 
so good at what he does and he realizes that the core of it is to play and it's to push and it's to prod and it's this and it's for people to react to it not to kind of put up a wall which i think a lot of actors might do and he just pushes right through that and so it was terrifying and uh and and sometimes very uncomfortable but uh it made for one of the best working experiences i imagine i'll probably ever have i mean